if you watched my video on hormone dysregulation, I, if you haven't, I recommend you do watch it. Um, I spoke about a test. I spoke about an estrogen ratio or an estrogen metabolism test. Um, look, most doctors run total estrogen on women today or blood estrogen. Um, and because we understand that most of the cancers that we're battling today from breast cancer, ovarian cancer, pro, uh, even prostate cancer in men has to do with estrogen dominance. Um, the information I'm going to give you here, and I had, you know, when I spoke of it, so many people said I wanted to learn more about this type of testing. So I did this for my doctors that I train and for the public because this is a lifesaver. Every doctor should be testing estrogen this way. As a matter of fact, Suzanne Summer said this is the test that saved her life. And it is a 24-hour urine test. I do some blood work with hormones. I do some saliva work. But this particular test is the lifesaver. Look, it's not just about the total estrogen, just like it's not about the total um, cholesterol. What it more is about is the ratio. Now, I'm going to take you through a little lesson here. There's three different types, basically, of estrogen. 2, 4, and 16. And I want you to write this down at home, because if you write it, you're going to remember it. Write 2, 4, and the number 16. In between them, you're going to draw a line. The 2 is the good estrogen or the protective estrogen. Okay, it's actually a, a type of methylated estrogen which will protect you from all the cancers that I just mentioned. The bad, these 4 and the 16, they need to be changed, metabolized, and brought out of the body. If that doesn't happen, then it sets you up for these cancers that we know as estrogen dominant types of cancers. Here's the ratio. Now this 24 hour urine test, it gives you these nice little pie graphs. It shows you how the estrogen is metabolized or it's not. And I don't know if you can see that from here, but I do want to kind of give you a little showing here. It tells you where you lie on this graph or this ratio. So this test is showing that this particular person, which actually happens to be my wife, she was at risk. It says high risk for breast cancer. Now, it's because this ratio of the 2 and the 16 was flipped on her meaning she had too much of the bad and not enough of the good. Now, if that's you, then that puts you at major risk of developing one of these cancers that I mentioned. Now, there's two phases of how your body gets rid of estrogen, called estrogen metabolism. Phase one, where your body takes this bad estrogen and changes it into a more protective type of estrogen or a good estrogen. It's kind of like taking your garbage to the curb. Now phase two estrogen metabolism is where you take the garbage, the garbage man comes and takes the garbage away from your house. In that case, we actually attach something on called a methyl group. Methyl groups your body uses in your body to take toxins away as well. So it has to do with toxins. Also, your body uses methyl groups to win to high times of stress. Your body has to take these methyl groups, attach them onto your adrenaline, and, and actually activate the adrenaline and pull it out of your body. So guess what? In high amounts of stress, your body wastes these methyl groups. High times of toxicity or toxic people, you waste these methyl groups. So what happens is, is you build up the bad type of estrogen. In this case, we're looking at the four right here. So the four we look at by itself, not in, as much in the ratio, and this is phase two of estrogen metabolism. Look, that can go wrong in either phase one or phase two. In my wife's case, she had it backwards in both. So she had too much of this bad four, which is extremely dangerous. It turns into something called 3,4-quinones, which is responsible for a lot of these cancers. So just in review, you can be Followed up in the first ratio, which is phase one, we have too much of this bad estrogen over the protective estrogen. Or you can be followed up in phase two, where you don't have enough of these methyl donors, either due to stress or toxicity. This is the one that I see most often in my patients. Look, if you can't donate methyl groups because of either stress or toxicity, you're going to get sick. As a matter of fact, most of the symptoms that I see in the women that come in my practice, this is the problem. The treatment is different for what phase you're actually off in. Now, I do want to show you um, some other things about this test. Um, however, I need to pause the video, clear the board, and I want to come back, 
and show you three other estrogens and how this test measures them and how that will save your life. Now, before I start this second piece that I want to teach you, um, I said that this was my wife's test, so she does allow me to show you. Uh, but I want to show you why her, both of her phases of estrogen metabolism were off. Um, this is a heavy metal test, which if you haven't watched the heavy metal videos yet, please do. And I talk about testing on there. That's my wife's lead level. Uh, now, just to give you a little history, uh, my wife got that lead level from her mom, who died of breast, or who died of cancer, I should say. Um, Twelve years before she died, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She got the typical treatments, and guess what? She was considered a breast cancer survivor. Um, however, then I said to her, look, if you don't change the cause of why you got it, uh, then guess what? You're going to get cancer somewhere else. Well, ten years later, guess what? Uterine cancer. Uh, two years later, she died. Um, and I tell you that because I want to make a difference in your life, and I know my wife does as well. My wife would have been her mom. Um, but my wife, thank God, is doing something about the cause. Um, if we would have looked at my mother-in-law's um, estrogens and estrogen ratios, we would have seen this flip in the ratio. And unfortunately, the doctors didn't do that, and that's a shame. It's one of the reasons why I'm very passionate about this. And my wife would have been one of those people as well. Um, so I know it does save lives. But with a lead level like that, she was wasting all her methyl donors, of course. Therefore, she wasn't able to methylate this bad estrogen out, and her ratios were flipped. But let me show you something else that this lead level, a toxic level, does uh, to a test like this. These are three more specific types of estrogen. We have estrone, which is E1. We have estradiol, which is E2. And estratriol, which is E3. And I know that this is kind of complicated, but it's on video. You can watch it two or three times, and you'll learn it. I recommend writing it down as I teach it. There's something called the estrogen quotient, which we actually look at E3 divided by E1 plus E2, and that has to be greater than the number one. And the reason why is because, see the estradiol, and I'm going to circle it. This is the protective estrogen, or the anti-cancer estrogen, we'll say for simplicity's sake. The E3 is the weakest of the estrogens, but yet the most protective. Now the E2, the estradiol, is more of the active and the strongest estrogen, and responsible for you know, giving women their, their shape and, and at puberty, et cetera, um, breast development, hip development, everything. However, it also is the most carcinogen, carcinogenic, I should say. Um, the estradiol competes for those receptor sites, and it protects you from this estrogen. God has a way of doing it correctly. There is a balance. Now, estrone is probably more active in postmenopause, um, but estrone can convert to estradiol. Now, here's the key. If this ratio is less than one, there's a simple treatment, a few things that we can do. Because what happens is, is the E3 being on the top, we want that to be the highest number, most protective. However, when that's reversed, the number falls below one. And now we know that someone who needs at least what we call iodine, and the reason iodine helps so much is because what happens when you give iodine, it helps these estrogens convert into this protective estrogen. So simple, but yet the only way you would know to do that treatment is to run a test like this, a 24-hour urine test. And I'm telling you, it is absolutely life-saving, and yet the treatment, so simple, yet so few doctors running it. Fibrocystic breast disease, we already know iodine is the treatment for that. However, we understand it further when we understand how iodine interacts to this. So this test absolutely will change and save your life, and everyone you love should watch this video. And again, there's many more things in this test. We look at every hormone, 33 different types of hormones. But these are just two points that I want to point out because I know that it'll save your life and I know that it'll make a difference. I hope that helps.